All right. Um, can you spell your first and your last name for me? M I C H A E L C Y P H E R. Okay. Michael, um, what's going on here? I noticed uh, you were telling me you're trying to help out with everything going on with the coronavirus. Talk about kind of what you do and what's going on here in your uh, workshop here in your garage. Uh, currently, I'm just printing uh, face shields and I was also selling some face masks that I could donate and uh, they're open source files so anybody could go and get them and download them if you have a printer be able to go ahead and print them after as well uh, yeah. um, how long have you had the printers I've had the printers for about a year now and um, I started doing this about last week making the face shields so you, I'm, you were telling me you saw on t like pretty much like on TV people were and the hospitals um, and law enforcement, they are kind of, they don't have a lot of the face masks. So what what drove you to do kind of do this? Uh, I just have the ability to print stuff. So I mean, I figured it would be a good opportunity just to help out as well. Since uh, I don't know other ways I could help out at the moment. So this seems like a good source to do so. And right now you're kind of, uh, are you out of work right now? Uh, we're out of work right now, but um, we're getting paid up until the 6th of April. So it's not completely, like without pay, but uh, yeah, Knotts is closed for the moment, so I'm not able to go in. What do you do at Knotts? Uh, at Knotts, I am their in-house sculptor, foam runner, mold maker, mask painter, and I also do makeup during the season with the other artists too. And how long does it take uh, to do this? Um, how long does it take to make a mask? 
the small printer over there, it takes six hours to do two, and then this bigger one, I'm doing 12 at a time right now, and it's going on two days. Okay, and how long, what's your goal? Um, how long do you, how many do you uh, expect to make, and wh where are they going to go? Uh, I'm just going to make them until I run out of materials, and I mean, I'll still go and reimburse materials or resupply materials when I need to, but um, I mean, until this is done, I can just keep making them, because it's not really doing anything towards me negative, so it's a positive thing for me to be doing it. Um, Michael, um, how many have you made so far? Uh, there are 26 of them so far, and then with the other 12 that are being done there, plus this two, I mean, that'll go up to... Yeah. <laughs> um, where, do you have a, a specific hospital or a clinic? Where, where are they going to go? I signed up for three projects that were asking for people to print stuff. One was from Matter Hackers, another one was Masked for Docs, and another one was through Form Labs. Uh, Matter Hackers, I got an email replying that they're still looking to see what's approved to be used in terms of face masks. But uh, with Form Labs and Masks for Docs, I haven't heard anything back yet as well, but I know that people are also just reaching out to just local hospitals in general and seeing what they can donate to. So if you wanted, you could drop these off to UCI or St. Joseph's um, and and they would be able to take them? That would be the idea, yeah. That's okay. the goal. For ER uh, doctors and, and stuff receiving uh, patients? Yeah. Okay. And um, talk about again, what, what do you do at Knott's Berry Farm for, um, you said you do a lot of the uh, masks and you do a lot of special effects stuff? Yeah, I'm their in-house sculptor, foam runner, mold maker. A mask painter, and I'm also one of the 36 makeup artists who are employed during the season, except I'm there year-round. And how long have you been there? I started in 2011, but I started as talent, and then I did make makeup for four years, and I still do makeup for them, but I have been brought in after those four years to be there year-round and sculpt all our pieces for our park and the other parks back east, too. How rewarding is this, doing this, to be able to help the first responders you said it kind of touches yourself a little uh, to make you feel, it makes you feel feel good to be able to help out on. Yeah, it's, it's a positive thing and I enjoy doing it. Uh, another thing we do for them is work with first responders anyway when we do every 15 minutes program. So, I mean, that's another opportunity where I'm getting to work side by side with them as well. Right, and, um, and uh, anything else you'd like to say? I don't know. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the first responders out there? Uh, thank you for doing what you're doing. I really appreciate it. I mean, it's a wonderful thing and it's awful dangerous for you, but it's positive for everybody.